You were in love with my mother? When? A long time ago, before you were born. Before I was... Well, that might mean... No, that's too... Ace, are you my father? You get the hell out of my house. I was looking for a simple yes or no. And since you didn't say no, I have to assume that it's the truth. So where do we go from here, Dad? Hello, darling. Would you like some tea? Um, no, thank you. But Kelly mentioned something interesting. She said that you had moved David back in here. Is that true? Yes, it is. Actually, I moved him back into the blue room. I thought it would be a very good idea for him to live here at La Boulet while he's getting back on his feet. You're kidding me? No, absolutely not. But let's talk about something more serious, shall we? You, for example. Me? Yes, I heard you sneaking in. Goodness knows what time it was. Don't tell me you were coming back from a PTA meeting. I was at Todd's. Oh, no, that's exactly what I was afraid of. Why, Blair? I was getting him to take me back. But unfortunately, he kicked me out, but I'm not giving up. I'm going to find a way to get him back, no matter what it takes. I don't mean to be cruel, but I do have to be honest. Todd doesn't want you, honey. He's rejected you time and time again. He kicked you out of your own home. For goodness sakes, you're trying to win back a man who doesn't want to be one. And when has that ever stopped you from going after the man that you want, huh? Touche. You know, I thought you were hell-bent on getting Clint Buchanan back. I'm planning on it. Well, then why in the world did you bring David back to this house? What's going on with the two of you? So I'm a Buchanan? Doreen will be thrilled. Well, well. If I'm a Buchanan, that means Bo and Clint are my brothers. And if you're my father, that also means... For the last damn time, I am not your father. Look at you. A loser, gigolo, ne'er do well. You don't have an ounce of Buchanan blood in your body. You wouldn't admit it if I did, you old coot. What the hell did you call me? Sorry, Dad. Damn it, Bickers! Look, if you want me to stop, you'd better start talking. I deserve to know what happened between you and my mother, and I'm not going anywhere until you do. That's it. I'm calling security. Time for your pills, Mr. Buchanan. That was fast. Do you have some sort of implant? Not now, Nigel. Now, sir, you know the dire consequences if you fail to take your medication. All right, Asa. You start talking. You tell me everything about your affair with my mother, from the beginning to the end, and don't leave anything out, because if you do, you can kiss these little babies goodbye. I toss them. I don't care. Really? You're willing to risk your life to keep your relationship with my mother a secret? There's no risk to Mr. Buchanan's life. There's a vitamins you're holding, Mr. Vickers. I thought you said there were dire consequences if he didn't take them. Well, there will be from Mrs. Buchanan. Now, for the last time, Vickers, I am not. You understand me? I am not your father. You don't believe me? Get a DNA test. Now you get the hell out of here, or I call Bo and have you arrested for trespassing. All right, I'm going. For now. Asa and my mother? Could it be? Is everything all right, sir? So that's David Vickers' mother. She's a lovely young woman. 
So now that the secret is out, perhaps you're willing to include your family in this mystery? You stick to your job. Leave me the hell alone. I no longer have a job to do. I'll send for my belongings later. You can forward my final check to the Angel Square Hotel. What are you babbling about? You fired me, remember? Then I'm unfiring you. I need you to take me somewhere. Prano. There's nothing whatsoever going on between David and me. Darling, that ship sailed long ago. In fact, it capsized. But luckily, we've managed to become friends again. Hmm. Friends? Yes, friends. And I assure you, that's all. <laughs> that's so funny because, see, Kelly mentioned that she walked in on you guys here on the counter. He was like icing your cupcakes. Hey, hey, stop thing. right there, okay? <laughs> Okay, I, I will admit that uh, things uh, did become a bit too friendly for just a moment there. But after all, uh, David used to live here with me, and 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 just for a, a moment there, we uh, found ourselves um, uh, caught up in 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 a spirit of intimacy that just naturally uh, l l led to, um, well, that's all. It just makes perfect sense when you consider th that um, we used to be so close and then we found ourselves in close proximity. Right. Dorian, you're a genius. I was just thinking that myself. No, you are. You have just figured out a way for me to get back with Todd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm why I didn't think of this myself. You know, I have tried talking to Todd, having sex with Todd, doing all the things that other women do. But, you know, I realize that I am not any other woman, right? Smoking like a true yeah. Kramer. Now, don't take this as an endorsement, because you know how I feel about Todd, but what do you have in mind? I'm not going to tell you, because you won't be supportive. But you can wish me luck. No, 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 don't even wish me luck, because this is going to work, Dorian. If this doesn't work, nothing will. Thanks, Dorian. Dorian Lord. G yes, I'm just fine, thank you. But um, I need you to make a rather sizable donation to the uh, charitable trust that Buchanan Enterprises has established for, well, in the memory of John McBain. Well, I don't know. What would you consider sizable? Well, okay, fine. $50,000. No, of course I don't want it to be anonymous. <laughs> That much money? Are you kidding? No, uh, say that it is uh, from, well, with great respect, from Dorian Lord. Oh, oh, and you can also say, uh, and the staff of Craze magazine. But, but make sure it is in that order. <laughs> Good. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, w would you be certain that the check is sent care of Clint Buchanan? Thank you. Blair's right. I am a genius. Good. I'm glad you're here. I have some incredible news. I finally figured out why Spencer is so interested in Asa, why he was keeping those, those secret files, why he started his, his one-man show to bring down the entire Buchanan family, why he ruined Asa's business deal, why he messed with Kevin's life, why he, he framed Bo. I know everything that Spencer has done. David, what's your point? Spencer went after the Buchanans because they had what he never had, a father who loved and took care of them. So that's why he made sure that Kevin would never be able to be a father, because uh, Ned Truman was such an awful father. Very, very Freudian. Truman isn't Spencer's real last name. <sighs> Truman, Vickers, <laughs> with you guys who can keep track. It isn't Truman. It isn't Vickers. It's Buchanan. Buchanan? Spencer is Asa's son. Oh. <laughs> 